So in the previous video, we blocked in the sky and introduced uh, some clouds and a sense of light and dark. And now I want to introduce some shadows to the field that we blocked in previously. So I'm just taking some very thin ultramarine blue and I'm just going to very lightly drag that across the surface of the painting. Changing the angle of my brush as I do so. And then we'll also use the same wash of blue down here in the foreground, but applied in a rather different way. And when the paint is really watery like this, you get this wonderful texture as the little bubbles dry. And you know you can use you can use you know every characteristic of paint to your advantage. And now what I want to do is introduce, having introduced some shadows, I want to introduce some patches of light on the grass. So having mixed some cadmium yellow into that same thin blue, let's just add some areas where the light is catching the grass here and there. And perhaps even some bursts of pure cadmium yellow. And because the cadmium yellow is quite translucent, a lot of the textures and colours that we put down earlier, they'll show through. Uh, but that's OK at this stage. That's fine. Next, let's uh, put some shadowy regions a little better defined on this distant sheep. So a nice cool colour. Uh, I'm using a colour very similar to the, the ones I used in the sky, uh, quite deliberately, just so there's some flow uh, from you know, some sort of... So, that, so there's not a sort of jarring contrast of colour is what I'm trying to say. Um, and that's come out a little bit green, but that's OK. Let's stay with that for now. Block the legs in a little more solidly. And now we need to move on to describing the wool, in particular the shadow areas on the sheep and the lamb in the foreground. So I've mixed up some Silurian blue, uh, some magenta and a little bit of uh, titanium white. And now I'm going to use this as my shadow colour on the wool of the sheep. I'm going to use, and I'm going to use a similar trick to, the, to what I did with the clouds, I've added a little bit of white to my brush. And I'm just going to apply this fairly loosely to begin to suggest the texture of the wool. And vary my brush stroke as well for the same reason. And we can continue the same colour onto the lamb. So we'll stop uh, just there. We've now introduced a sense of light and dark on the field and also added some colour and extra dimension to the shadows on the sheep. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll see you for tomorrow's episode. Thanks for watching.